is a disclaimer. I'm going to put this at the beginning of my video. <laughs> um, I am not a professional. I'm not a doctor. And not everything that works for everyone else's baby is going to work for your baby. But I hope this works for you. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hello, friends. So, um, today we're going to talk about cradle cap and um, what helped me in dealing with her cradle cap. Today is June the 23rd. Her cradle cap started after her two months shot. Um, that's when she really started breaking out in eczema. And I believe the two were combined because her cradle cap was all over her head and her eczema is, was right there at the top. And it turned like the complexion of her skin, a dark red. And so in previous videos, you would see her with this reddish tint around her face and that was her eczema. It used to be just on her cheeks and it spread around her face. But, right, go all out of line, lost track, we are talking about her, um, her cradle cap, which has not been back since we got the correct medicine for her eczema. But when I was struggling and fighting with it to get it, like really to break it down, and start the process of removing it completely. Um, I tried not Fidelia oil. That oil right there that I just showed you. Um, it was from um, Earth Baby Mama. I love their products, but it only made it worse. Like, um, I would put it in, and you're supposed to let it sit for like a half an hour, 15 minutes, whatever. I would let it sit for like an hour because she had a lot of hair. And then you would wash it out. And um, But before you wash it out, you would go around and with a little scrub brush, it, it was like, um, I got rid of mine. But um, I posted a video of what it was, a picture of it. And um, you would scrub the top, the head with a little soft bristles at the top and then comb it out comb out all the flakes that would come out then you would wash the baby's hair so that's what I did with Amethyst who is who is doing fit with me right now I was trying to do this video while she took a nap she was down for the count and then she woke up so here we are and it's hot <laughs> but um, as you can see her hair is pretty clear now um, no more cradle cap so um after you would let it sit there you would then um comb it out massage the hair get all the things moving into her hair like off her scalp it looked like dandruff to me and then um then you would take the comb part and comb it out or brush it out and then wash the hair and and the next day, with that oil, it would just cake up and be there the next day. So I knew it wasn't working. And it, or it would be, I would get a lot of it out, and then three days later, I was doing the same thing again. It became like every Sunday or Saturday, we were doing a routine of doing that with her hair. So, um, after about two weeks of trying, almost three weeks I think of trying that I gave up on that oil and I started looking at other oils and I wanted to be careful because I wasn't sure which her skin was going to be allergic to and so I found um, Vivia Naturals Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil cold pressed and unrefined it's great for cooking baking skin and hair this was on Amazon best investment I have ever did for for this little one um, I don't put it on her skin I only put it in her hair and once again um, that is what I use to oil her hair um, it's only olive oil right now and it's mostly this it's the only one I use and um, I want to try aloe gel because um, I have an aloe vera plant, but I'm cautious about that right now. But basically, if you leave it in a room, a warm room temperature room, it's going to melt down and it'll become very oily. 
but most of the time it's hard like that and you gotta rub it, get it across your hands. Then you take it and warm it all up. Turn it into an oil pretty much. Massage into the baby scalp as much as possible. And then let it sit there for a couple of minutes. And someone's calling me. It's turning into a little mission to do this video. But let's try to continue it. So, um, massage this oil into the baby's hair. And you let it sit there for about um, 15 minutes or a half an hour, however long you want. It's not really hurting them. And um, you want to massage their hair with the oil. And then take the, the soft Brussels brush, if you have one, or a baby comb, if you have one. Kind of massage it and scrape out. Not hard. You're not scraping hard. You're like massaging, scraping out the... Um, I call it the dead skin or the really bad dandruff, but it's cradle crap out of the baby's hair and then you comb it out with the comb all the way to the end. You're going to have it all flaking all over you and then you give your baby um, a shower or a bath, <laughs> a bath in this case, and, um, and you wash their hair. Now for her hair, when I washed her hair, I use Baby Dove. Um, it's been the best thing. Um, is a is, is you can it's baby dove hit to toe and I use that for her bath time and I use it in her hair it's the only thing I use because it's the only thing that does not irritate her skin so um use that with coconut oil and um in her hair or in his hair and then you massage it, you comb it all out, and then you give them a bath and wash their hair with whatever um, shampoo that doesn't irritate your baby's skin or irritates their scalp. Um, but like I said, so far I really do recommend Dove, Baby Dove Head to Toe Wash. Now if your child has eczema, I do not recommend their lotion, um, especially if she has severe or if they have severe um, eczema, because it irritated my daughter. It might not irritate your daughter. Anyone's child is different. Um, so, just letting you guys know, and hopefully this helps you guys, because I know it's hard, especially when you constantly see this cradle cap falling up in, the, in your child's hair and you wash it, it's back. So, if you've been having that problem nonstop. Uh, this is on Amazon and I will leave the link below and hopefully this will help you guys out.